Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Snapdragon, and this is another character creation video, specifically for the MMO that's been out for quite some time now called Terra. I played this game back when it first came out, but it didn't really hold my attention at the time because I was also playing Star Wars The Old Republic. Eventually I would get knee deep into The Elder Scrolls Online, and so it just never really held my attention, but even still, it was a great game from what I did play. The graphics are still, it was really nice for, you know, that time when it came out. It's character creation and customization is still really nice as well. It's no Black Desert Online, but it's definitely better than some other MMOs that I have played in the past. And honestly, I'm amazed I haven't made a character creation video for it uh, up until now. So I figured today's the day. Let's do it. It's time that we made a character creation video for Terra. You can see we have a various number of races and classes. We're going to start by looking at the different races. We'll talk about their racial skills and then we'll begin looking at the classes because some of the classes are racially locked and some of them are also gender locked. So I believe that's the order that we're going to do it in. And again, this game is free to play. It's been around for quite some time. So if you haven't played it yet, I mean, I know that I haven't really played too much of it. For instance, I today cannot show you the Reaper class because I do not have a, a level 40 or higher character. So I can't actually create a Reaper to show you. But one day I might be able to show you the Reaper class when I have a level 40 or higher character. But I can show you the other classes. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Right now we have the human I have them sitting on the Ranger class for no real reason other than the fact that I like the way the class looks and it's open to all the different races. Just wanted to throw that out there. So here we have the female human. Here is the male human. And here we have their different racial skills. Now I can't hover over these and show them to you, but I can tell you what each of them are. This first one here is deft footwork. It's an active type of ability. And it just says that your chances of being knocked down or stunned are reduced. We also have the Indomitable Spirit. This is a passive ability, and it just says when your HP drops below 30%, take 10% less damage. So you also get this damage mitigation ability. Every race has a different type of crafting ability. So the humans have nomadic crafters. They're good at creating light armor. They have increased crafting speed when they're making light armor. And then we also have Resilience of Body. This heals you continuously after you've been resurrected. Next we have the Castanic Race. And I love this race so much, primarily because their outfit style is red carpet, <laughs> in my opinion. So here we have the male, right? And he has the leopard print. He's looking really spiffy. He looks really cool, in my opinion. Here we have a female. And by the way, I love this outfit for the archer class here. I mean, it's not going to protect her from anything, by the way. This is why it's called light armor. But I like the style. It looks really cool. These are kind of look like a demon class, basically. Let's look at their racial skills here. We have skirmish running. It's an active ability. It just says your combat speed increases, but your resistance to being knocked down decreases. Here we have Dirty Fighting. It's a passive. It increases your critical hit rate by one, but only when you're attacking the target from behind. We have another Crafting passive here. This means that you can increase crafting speed for metallic weapons by 10%. And then last but not least, we have this Light Landing passive that decreases your falling damage by 50%. So if you're a person that likes to just jump off cliffs, this might be for you. Next, we have the Amon. These are the large warrior slaves to the giants race. They are a very big class, as you can see. This is the female. Here is the male. He kind of looks like a, a lizard to me, in a way. So their racial skills are last man standing, which is active, and that just increases your resistance to knock down any mobilization. So this would probably be a pretty good tanking class. We have Blood of Dragons. This is resistance to periodic damage. No Stranger to Pain also decreases your damage by 30% when you're already, um, I'm sorry, by 10% when you already have about 30% of your HP left. And then we have Prospector. This again is your 
crafting or gathering, this increases their gathering speed. Here we have the High Elf. They look regal. Here is the female High Elf, and I love her armor. So their racial skills are Corn Fusion. This just replenishes 100% of their MP, but its cooldown is about two hours. We also have Core Resonance. This allows them to teleport to Alayam and Thea. We have Resilience of Mind. This restores their MP continuously after they've been resurrected. And then they also have increased gathering speed for Essence. Here we have the Popori. This is your nature uh, race. As you can see, he looks like a little ferret. And I believe if you look at the different classes, it changes the type of animal that they are. There. Can't be that one. That's a, that's a locked class. They're kind of cute. <laughs> so they have various types of uh, more nature-esque abilities. You, for instance, have Soothing Presence. This means that monsters do not make preemptive attacks against you, but you ha do have uh, decreased movement speed. Here we have Horizon Run. This means your speed increases by 20 outside of combat. It is an active ability. You also have a Botanist skill, which increases your plant gathering speed and friendly current, which means that you swim faster than some of the other races, which would make a lot of sense. While we're on him, we can just look at the various different types here. Oh, I don't have a Reaper. Ooh, little dog, it's kind of creepy. Oh, little panda, he's so cute. I think the first uh, character I ever made in this game was the panda one. Next we have the Elin. This, I guess, would be sort of the female version of the Potpourri, but it's not. It's just that I think they kind of coincide with the Potpourri, except this, of course, is, again, gender-locked to female, but they are sort of the the youngin race mixed with animals, so you can see that she has a tail back there. Let's look at their racial skills. It's basically the same as the potpourri, as you can see here. And last but not least, it's the Baraka. He looks like a stone giant, in my opinion. He looks really cool. And again, it's gender lock, so they're only male. Let's look at their abilities. We have Ancient Wellspring, which replenishes your HP, but the cooldown is two hours. We have Core's Resonance again, which is, you also saw that on the High Elf. Gather No Moss, which increases your resistance to stun by 10. And then we also have increased crafting speed for magic weapons. So this again would probably be a good tanking race. So now, let me choose a single race for us to look at all the classes that are not gender or racially locked. I really like, again, the way the Castanic looks. They look awesome. I mean, look at his leopard print. Can you really say no? So we're going to look at all the races that are not racially or gender locked in the Castanic. Beginning with the warrior. This is our evasion tanked or, sorry, our evasion tank. Or they can be sustained DPS. You have different ways you can go about it. They're melee primarily and they wear light armor. Look at his outfit. Now her outfit would be great, but it's not going to protect her from anything. Next we have the Mystic. This is your support healer. They're ranged magic and they apparently wear robes, although I wouldn't say this is a robe. Here's the male though. His outfit looks legit. I mean, they got, they're spiffy. The males in this game, they, they got some style, I will say. Here we have the Lancer. This is your mitigation tank, so this would probably be good for the Baraka class, for instance. Melee and heavy armor. Here is the female. Again, we can't be a Reaper. Here is the Slayer. Their burst DPS. Their up close close combat, and then wear light armor. As you can see, there's the female. Here is the male, and he looks like a demon pirate, and I'm really digging it. 
Here we have the Berserker, which are burst DPS, melee, and heavy armor. He looks pretty cool. Do you ever think that this would break their backs? I mean, look at the way she's standing. That has to be hard on their backs, in my opinion. Here we have the Sorcerer, range DPS. They also supposedly wear robes. Here he is, again, in his leopard print. Here we have, again, the Archer, or the Ranger. This is your sustained DPS, it's ranged, and they are in light armor. And then we have the Priest. This is another support class. They give you buffs, they can act as healers, they're ranged magic, and again, wear robes. Doesn't he look mean? And now we can look at some of the racially or gender locked classes. We can begin here with the gunners. The guns gunners are racially and gender locked. So you have only the Castanic females, high elf females, and Ellens can be a gunner. So here is the Castanic female. It's ranged burst DPS and they wear heavy armor as you can see. And that has to hurt her back, am I right? Here we have the high elf female gunner. And the Ellen Gunner. Now we also have Brawlers. So here is an Ellen Brawler. Humans can also be Brawlers. They're your mitigation tanks. They're melee, they're melee damage primarily. And here's heavy armor. But only humans, Ellen, and Potpourri can be Brawlers. Then we also have ninjas. Only Elin can be ninjas with the shuriken. Sustained DPS, they supposedly wear robes. And then last but not least, we have Valkyrie. And only the Castanic female can be a Valkyrie. These are your burst DPS, and of course they are in light armor. So those are our races and our classes. Let's go ahead and create a character. We're going to create a Valkyrie here in the Castanic female class. Here she is. This is their beginning outfit, but we do get to preview some of the outfits that you might be able to find in game. So here she is. We have a few presets to choose from. Up a little closer here since we're primarily working on the head. Now I personally like this look. I love that hair. I love how long it is too. We can also look at their features. Just This is just their hairstyle and the horns, so we can look at that as well. So as you can see, the horns and the hairstyle, they're like a, a package deal, if you will. We're gonna go back to this hairstyle. Here we get to choose the hair color. I really like blues and purples for some reason when it comes to hair, even though it's pretty unnatural. So I'm gonna make her hair sort of a nice blue. And also change her face here. I happen to like this face a lot. And we also get to pick their skin colors. So let's go ahead and... You can see that their skin is incredibly shiny. I like that. Here we have adornments. This is your makeup. I don't really see anything besides makeup in here, so I don't see any tattoos. We 
can also manipulate her fine details using sliders, as you can see here, for most of her face. Not the body, but for the face. So I don't think we're going to work on her brows, because I mean, you can't really see them. <laughs> They're under the horns. But we can give her maybe a little cheekbone lift. Work on her eyes a little bit. Work on her nose, give her some nostril width. There you go, she's looking good. Mouth, we'll pull the corners down just a little bit. Make her lips less thick and then of course we can resize the ears make them a little bigger make them a little smaller also rotate them a little bit back a little more and take a look at the outfits see i really like this outfit personally that one's nice as well Ooh, look at that one! I like that. You also get to choose her voice. I like that one, personally. And there is our Valkyrie! What do you guys think? Put her in this outfit. I like this outfit. All right, so that's character creation and customization in Terra in 2020. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I make these videos all the time for the various MMO games that are out there. Please follow me on social media, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.